Right now, a live look in Gainesville tonight as new details emerge about a suspected human sex trafficking operation. Neighbors are now reacting to what police say happened inside this home. Things like that make me really upset um, to think about someone who was tortured in my neighborhood. A warning, the details are very disturbing. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny live in Gainesville with the latest on this investigation. Eric? Yeah, this home on 31st Avenue is supposed to offer services to people that are homeless, but police say the two men who ran the business were offering a different kind of service to paying customers. This house is advertised online as the Safe Hands Group Home, which is supposed to provide services for the homeless. And according to state records, the business is owned by 20-year-old Kavarius King. But Gainesville police say King and 25-year-old Justin Hoyt appear to have been using the business for prostitution. Does it appear these two suspects are part of a much greater operation? It's possible, but we are looking into that. Um, obviously, one of the suspects is pretty young. Police say it was unusual to hear about a 20-year-old starting up a group home business. That was red flag number one. Police say Hoyt is the second red flag because he's a registered sex offender. We don't know that they were officially associated with any homeless shelters around here. And Basically, so, the place may have been more of a front for prostitution. Possibly. Um, definitely predators. A neighbor who didn't want to go on camera says that for the past eight months, he personally witnessed all kinds of foot traffic going in and out of this home late at night, and he says that none of the people he saw appeared homeless. Police say the men took advantage of a homeless woman who came there for help by forcing her to have sex with dozens of men. According to the arrest report, King and Hoyt arranged paid sexual encounters between the victim and paying customers. Police say the pair even went as far as to record videos of those encounters on their cell phones. The victim told police she was forced to do sex acts so disgusting that she would vomit. But this all came to an end several days ago when, according to the victim, a customer forced illegal narcotics down her throat, which caused her to have a seizure and pass out. Police say while still unconscious, the woman was dropped off at this library. She told the staff she was the victim of sex trafficking and asked them to call 911. Both men were arrested when police say they found evidence at the home and inside the suspect's car that supported the victim's story. News for Jax has also learned that both men were suspects in a previous human sex trafficking investigation that began six months ago. There was a lot of similarities to it. We did not develop any probable cause to move forward on that case. But, you know, in light of what has occurred now, we're going back on that one to re-examine it. In the meantime, a neighbor who did agree to speak with us on camera says he is outraged to learn of alleged sex trafficking close to his home. I would have never guessed that was something that was happening at the house. Um, in the past, I've done some social justice work where I have worked with trafficking uh, victims in Miami. And so I was really surprised to hear about this. Now, this investigation is far from over, and police say they plan to make additional arrests. They also say there is a possibility that there could be more victims. Reporting live in Gainesville, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.